Hello guys, Sanjay here and in this video I am going to review the Hue Eureka Plus which is supposed to be an upgrade to the Hue Eureka and few months back when I reviewed the Eureka I was quite happy with the device because the performance of the device was very good, camera was very good and in 2-3 to three weeks only there were tons of ROM that were available for the device but unfortunately I may not be able to say the same thing about the Eureka Plus which is supposed to be an upgrade to the Eureka as Eureka is not sold anymore on the Amazon.in you have to stick with Eureka Plus so let's find out in this video is it an worthy upgrade like if you have Eureka then should you be considering Eureka Plus as an upgrade or should you consider something else or should you be happy with the Eureka only so let's get started with the review so let's start with the build quality of the device and uh, you publicized about the build quality so much that there were tons and tons of videos that were available showing you guys that Eureka Plus is uh, like unbreakable or something like that and many other YouTube channels also made videos about that so that was quite surprising and yes the build quality is very good when it comes to dropping the device or something like that but when it comes to in hand feel is surely not the best when it comes to holding the phone in the hand because uh, that makes the phone little bit slippery uh, the phone is not completely slippery but but it is surely not as good as Moto G3's back panel the volume keys on the device are tactile power button is also very good uh, double tap to wake gesture is present which I had to turn off because the battery life was really bad uh, we'll talk about the battery life later so I was using the power button and I did not find any single issue using the power button which is located at the right side and the volume keys are on the left side so I'll give 8.5 out of 10 for the build quality just because the drop test are showing that the device is really really good and frankly speaking if you just see Eureka and Eureka Plus you won't be able to notice any type of difference in both the phones but anyways uh, it seems that the build quality on the Eureka Plus is better so that's really a very good thing after this now let's talk about the display on the phone and Eureka had 720p display whereas Eureka Plus has 1080p display with Snapdragon 615 processor uh, I doubt that phone should have 1080p displays because even MI4i with 615 chipset and 1080p display was having lagging issue and hitting issue and same is the case with the Eureka Plus also the phone hits up even if you use it normally like very very normally even if you just play Clash of Clans for 10 minutes the phone gets hot I mean really hot and even if you just uh, open Facebook, WhatsApp, use the phone for a little while then yes the phone gets warm and it gets considerably warm and if you try to game on the device for half an hour then I'm pretty much sure that it will touch 50 degrees easily. So after hitting issue let's talk about the battery life on the device and the battery life is also not that great I would say the battery life is okay but considering other phones at the same price point like Leno, K3 Note, Moto G3 or Samsung Galaxy J5 offer a very good battery life rather uh, Eureka only offered me a better battery life than Eureka Plus so surely the software on the Eureka Plus is not that well optimized and the build date of the software is June 26 which is like 2 months back so and maybe that's why the software is not that optimized and I'm yet to get a single update even after 2 weeks so I don't know how much time should I wait for the OT update to come and after this now let's talk about the performance of the phone and uh, yeah once more the phone is not performing that well guys so as the software is not that optimized for the device the battery life is not that good the performance is not that good and there is a major heating issue with the device so actually I bought the device to give it to my friend uh, my friend wanted to buy a device but after using the Eureka Plus I may not uh, give the phone rather I am not giving the Eureka Plus to my friend I will suggest the friend to buy another device because the heating issue is like very major the performance is not that good and the battery life is also not as I expected it to be because when I was using Eureka the normal Eureka with 720p display the battery life was uh, very good rather the performance was also good and if I flash custom ROMs then the performance on the custom ROMs was also very good and it's been more than 2 weeks but there is no official route available by you whereas you Euphoria got the Cyanogen mod 12.1 nightlies immediately after one week but for the Eureka Plus there is not even route available so I cannot do a routing video as of now so after so many bad points now let's talk about some of the very good points about the device and that's the camera department the front facing camera and the rear facing camera looks good uh, I won't complain much about that both the cameras are surely very good when you click the photos outdoors but as soon as you come indoors or as soon as you go in low light or artificial lighting both the cameras like rear facing camera and the front facing camera both start to struggle but that's quite okay considering the price of the phone that's 9000 only so yeah I'll give 7.5 out of 10 for the camera department on the device because 
when i compared the phone with moto g3 and the lenovo k3 note both the other devices performed better in camera department uh, videos for those will be linked in the description or those will be available on the channel so you can surely check those videos out and after this now let's talk about the sound quality on the device sound quality via the earphones is very very good no issues with the sound quality via earphones and when it comes to rear facing speaker that it has it also performs very good it's loud enough but it's not as loud as uh, some other phones that i have used so yeah so in my final opinion i would like to say that the eureka plus is not that well optimized as of now and there are no software updates from you and that's quite surprising for me because you euphoria was having similar issues but the ot update was rolled out immediately after one week or 1.5 weeks there are no ot updates no roms for the eureka plus so that's quite surprising and as of now i may not recommend you to buy this device uh, there are better options like lino k3 note or the moto g3 and i hope that you release a software updates very very immediately and fixes all these issues and after ot update if i still have the eureka plus then i'll surely try to make a video on that if the performance of the phone is improved and if i get impressed by the device so yeah so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more such videos and more review videos so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching